so I have not played in Arena Kings in probably several months. But yeah, I'm going to play the one today. So it's every Wednesday, and it's a prize tournament for streamers. And we do have the Arena Kings command, which will link to this article. Yeah, every Wednesday, 9 a.m. Pacific time. I'm on Central time, so um, it's almost 11 a.m. And these are the prizes. So first prize gets 75 gifted subs. Uh, yeah, so 15th place still gets some amount of subs. And then, okay, there's some rules. But I think it's a bit more lax than Title Tuesday. I'm not required to be in emo only mode. It's also three minute chess, which is a pretty big difference compared to three plus one. So no increment, more potential for dirty flagging. Oh yeah, happy Valentine's Day too. Yeah, so in honor of Valentine's Day, I'm going to try and play as romantically as possible. And for those that don't know what romantic chess is, it might sound like you're trying to seduce your opponent, but it basically refers to the style of chess played in the 1800s, where players were way more aggressive, went straight for the kill, kind of like Morphe or, yeah, Morphe, Tall, lots of sacrifices, gambits, probably not the most conservative style of playing. It's going to get a little bit dubious. So I imagine I'll play a good amount of like Stafford gambits today and other super aggressive openings. Um, it's a fun style. I'm trying to recover from yesterday from a somewhat disappointing Title Tuesday performance. I lost about 70 points. So I'll try and work my way back towards 2700. But it's definitely risky playing dubious chess and trying to gain rating at the same time. We'll see what happens. Oh, I haven't joined. Oh, <laughs> forgot to click the join button. Uh, soul discretion, etc. Okay, looks fine. I don't have time to read the legal agreement, but um, I agree. Ooh, Lucchini Gambit. Yeah, the thing about Lucchini is I'd have to play a different type of repertoire. Because usually if I'm playing aggressive, I'll go for Stafford. But maybe I can try and mix it in. Okay, first opponent, e4. Playing London GM. Not playing the London. Opponent taking their sweet time. We have an Alakine. Yeah, for this, I'll just kind of play the standard main line. Uh, maybe bishop c4, attack the knight. Can I? I mean, I'm tempted to sack like right away. Let's just do it. Knight g5. Get my opponent thinking. I'm not holding back here. So I'm threatening this and this. Queen f3 will threaten this and this. It's interesting. Um, so if I want to take on b7, I guess I can. I have to be careful with my queen, though. Can I take on e6? Oh, no, <laughs> takes with check. Oh, dear. Uh, let's play... What to do? Maybe this first? Solid move? Yeah, for a moment I thought the queen was overworked, but... Wait, is my queen getting trapped? Rook a7 is a threat. D5... Oh, this is backfiring. Take... Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, this is actually really bad. I don't know what to do. I'm going to be down a queen. There, there. Uh, 
I guess I can try this. Idea is d5 at some point. C7 is also loose. I'm not thrilled with how this is transpiring. Okay, I have C4. I think I have to try it. And this move is coming. It's not going well. Okay, let's try this. Oh no, my rook. How romantic is this? I've sacked a lot of things. Maybe more like blundered a lot of things. Uh, check. Checking doesn't really work. I think I just resign and then move on. Oh, let's give a check. Never resign when you have knight. I just have no counterplay here. Maybe this? Attacking the bishop? I mean, this is a move. Opponent's just consolidating, though. Let's keep attacking. Oh, okay. I resign. <laughs> Okay, not my proudest start to the tournament. Maybe that was overly romantic. Yeah, my queen went in a little bit like too deep into box position there. So let's go for a Stafford. Still offering the pawn. Was that a romantic comedy or a romantic tragedy? Okay, we have a transposition to the Stafford. Try and set up knight to g4. Opponent's walking into one of my favorite traps. This is going to be romantic. Knight g4. Oh no, my knight. So I'm attacking f2. And now I'm threatening queen e5 to checkmate. Now I'm threatening this to checkmate. King g2 is the What's only try. Day for our anniversary. Cheers. Cheers. So this is a second sacrifice of a minor piece. It's still opening prep. Threatening maiden one. If king takes, then my rook can come in. And if rook takes, my queen can come in. A month for every year I've been on Earth. Wild. Mm. Hope you're well and taking care of yourself. BTW been loving playing the Ponziani. Oh, nice to hear. Thank you, Mate Ray. Thank you, Tuzajin, too. Yeah, opponent is realizing their doom. It's such a feel-good staffer gather trap. I haven't had this one in a while. There's a funny line, king takes rook check, king here, queen takes pawn check, king d4. But uh, yeah, white goes for this. So now I'm threatening maiden two, queen h3, king g1, queen h1 checkmate. And yeah, I can check king f1 and then take. It's possible I've had this exact same game before. And rook h1 unstoppable. Okay, that was nice. Uh, nice recovery there. I'll try and keep it going. I'll try and get in at least one Ponziani. Okay, here I'm playing. Play this line. Oh no, my knight. Yeah, the threat is very clear here. I have to remember the exact preparation. Um, pretty sure d3. Black has some knight g4, then bishop b3. Knight e5, queen g3.
But at some point in time, I was preparing this like quite deeply. I think it was queen g3. There's some eventual like h4, h5. Like, I think here h4. Because if h5, I can play f3. Knight moves, I take on g6. Nice pin. And meanwhile, I want to play h5 myself. Okay, so... I don't have to take the knight. I probably should. Oh, yes, my queen. I was just chilling on g6. I want to take the h5 pawn. This pawn is just chilling on e3. Imposter pawn. Kind of like an oyster. I have to be careful. I mean, let's uh, get the knight into play. Bishop e6, maybe rook a3 in that case. If I take... I mean, this should be fine. So I'm pinning the bishop, not allowing bishop takes c3. Oh, but if I take, I lose my thing. So what if I queenside castle? That's a funny move. Both pawns are chilling on my third rank. What a weird position. I think it's still good for white. Like my king save. These pawns should be falling soon. Rookie eight though. I mean, maybe I just go for the mating attack. I could also take. Looks a little bit simpler. It takes, takes. Hmm, Queen e4. No, that doesn't really work. Knight c5. this huh. no I'm just getting mated How did that happen? The pawn on d2 became useful. Ah. Oh, I got low on time too. Maybe I should have gone for h5. Opponent played more romantically than me. Oops. I should have just kept attacking. I wasn't sure about king. King goes somewhere. But yeah, I just keep pushing. Ah, what to do? Good game though. That was a weird one. Uh, I mean, I should have just consolidated. Maybe I should have castle kingside. Okay, let's try and uh, mentally recover, emotionally recover. I'm playing the sign. The sign has some venom to it. Roses are red, violets are blue, and on Valentine's Day, the bishop protects you. Yeah, I really got attacked by the bishop there, and then eventually by the rook. Okay, doing some attacking with my own bishop. Mm, 
So I'll try and manage the time better this game. Um, I'll try and get my pieces to better squares too. We have a very close position. Try and poke and prod at the structure. If I take... I mean, one plan is to go for the g4 break. Not easy to achieve, though. I think the bishop wants to like, rotate around. I mean, inherently, this is not a great bishop, just because so many things are in dark squares. Yeah, probably should not have allowed that. Okay, rook b1. Oh dear. g4 now, take, take. Doesn't look great. Play a3. Let's go for g4. The most romantic idea I could come up with, which, I mean, I'm down how many pawns now? Too many to count? I'm down two pawns. Soon to maybe be three or four. I have four attackers against that. Happy Valentine's Draft six is now coming. Day, Eric. Sharing your love of chess. Always nice to share a love. Am I winning now? I'm still down a lot of pawns, but queen h2, queen h8. It's kind of hard to stop. I guess king g6. It's still tricky. And the king is asking to get mated. I mean, my center and queen side is kind of, uh, kind of in shambles. But I guess the idea is like queen h4, queen g5, queen g7 checkmate. Hi, Eric. How were your travels? They were good. Thanks for asking. Welcome back to John Brown. Due to symmetry also. Yeah, thanks everyone for being here. Appreciate people tuning in. So I think this, what do these numbers mean? Number 16 means I'm tied for 16th. Wow, rook takes a2. So this is, this looks just mating. And Bach tried to sacrifice a rook, but I'm trying to checkmate the king. So it is knight g3. Yeah, and very important I'm controlling h8, so rook h8 is off limits. I uh, have to watch out for this move. Tricky, tricky. Plenty of time. Hmm. Wait, maybe I just still go for this. Yeah, I think this is still fine. And then King G1. Knight's guarding G2. Thank you for the awesome Twitch and content. Oh, thank you. Roll G3. There goes Box Queen. Okay. That was a fun game. 
we move on. Flying Bakery. So this is a funny line, because I sacked the knight, but I win back a piece. Bishop g5. I don't know the theory here. I guess f6. When in doubt, play f6. Oh, this might not be good. There, there. It's interesting. I'll be down the pawn of the bishop here. I feel like every game I'm down material at some point. Really? I have a king of seven. I think my opponent misses. It's unpinning my bishop and counterattacking white's bishop. Now things are looking good. I mean, I was probably objectively worse somewhere there. But this is working out. Bishop h6 check. Rook can come in. Oh, g2 is hanging too. Take. There's a funny line where I sack the bishop. Let's go for this first. Oh no, my bishop. Okay, opponent sees through my trickery, but now I can play bishop g7. A nice thing now is I'm threatening this, this, and then this. Discovered attack and then winning the rook, which I guess I'll do. I can also play this first, but let's be more forcing. White is winning a lot of pawns, but okay, doesn't take the bishop. Okay, that worked out nicely. Wasn't quite a Stafford, but still got a fun position. Playing an FM from Poland. So I think I'm I'm up rating based off the games I've played so far. Trying to transpose to the Stafford, but not happening. This is a fun line. I like to play this in Blitz. Ideas of the quick G pawn thrust. If I take. Knight d4. Could also take and play knight d4. Oh, but then f takes. It's tricky. Let's start with this. Yeah, I want a queenside castle and then use the, the G file eventually. Take. Mm. C3 is coming. 
Maybe I can take first. Then castle. Have to watch out for like B4. Bishops are likely to get traded. Take and play this. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to be a sharp game. I didn't really like calculate beyond H4. Uh, I sack the rook. Uh. Not sure. Let's do it. Unpinning, threatening to take. Draw, really? No. I'd be very surprised if White goes for the draw. No? Okay, things are kind of looking better. What's happening? I have no idea what's happening here. Okay, the clutch pawn. I won on time, and I have sufficient mating material. That was the first like real dirty flag of this tournament for me, but I guess I'll take it. Hope you enjoyed your time in Bali. I'm escaping I UK winter myself later this week by going to Mexico. D. Oh, enjoy Mexico. Thank you, Kazen. Okay, we have this line. This is a fun line. The issue with this line, if white plays king g1, the best approach is just to take a draw. But if white plays this, it gets fun. And all castle and takes, etc.
yeah, there's not too many openings where the the king just goes to e4 after nine moves. Um, I mean, I'll have sacked two minor pieces, but it's the nature of the Stafford Gambit. My king here, I think queen h4 is uh, the main line. And there's other moves for white too. Opponent's taking time though. Yeah, bishop f4, that's a move. I'm actually wondering about this move. Just setting up some discoveries. I have check. So this is a skewer. G4 is forced. And then I take and then take and then take. And I defend the knight through x-ray vision. I also pin the bishop to the queen. So there's no bishop g2. Now can I play rook d8? Or do I, can I sack the knight somehow? Rook d8 looks nice. Queen f3 is coming. Wow, there's a funny line. Queen f3, queen g1 check. King takes e4, rook e8. I'll be out of minor pieces, but I'll still have my major pieces. It might happen. And there's also king e2. Yeah, that's a safer option. Can I do anything here? Like, feels like I have something. And maybe retreating is best. Yeah, I'll just save the knight and then rook e8, knight takes g4. Not simple though. Just trying to process this position. B5, I guess. Trying to throw the kitchen sink at my opponent. And the more files that open, the better, I think. C5. White does want to move the bishop, though. Bishop e2. Yeah, maybe I should. Let's start with this. Mm. That didn't really help. I have this move. It's important to stay up on time, keeping the initiative too. Maybe F5 coming. Okay, everything's crumbling now for white. A major piece is doing work. Oh, 
Okay, that was a very romantic game. I mean, the game started with one of the coolest lines in the Stafford, sacking the bishop and sacking the knight, and then the queen so let us celebrate this did a lot of work. Day with chess and love in sweet array, for in this game, our hearts align, forever bound, until the end of time. Amen. Thank you for that, Erica Amy. Oh yes, my love. Oh, it's time for an alien gambit. How does it go again? This move and then this move? Alien Gambit time. I wonder if people are like beginning to know what to do against this line. This is already looking pleasant. This move is hard to stop. It's so romantic. Thank you for the last three years of learning from you. Oh, thank you. I have to be careful though, because uh, bishop g6, king here, and then my knight and pawn are attacked. What would Witty Alien do? I think I still go for this and just sack the g-pawn. And then rook f1. I also have queen e2. Let's start with this. Okay, black is playing it safe. So I'll castle. I'll go for c4. Yeah, the queen is very much of a target on d5. Bishop. Thank you for sharing your knowledge with us. Imrose and thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay, doing my best to keep the pressure here. It takes or is this move. I mean, I think I go for this. And then play this move. So romantic. So now my pawn and my bishop are finding happiness. Uh, maybe I can take. I can also. Can also just let the the pieces marinate. While attacked by my pawn. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm still. I mean, I'm down two pieces. I'm down a knight and a bishop, and now I'm only down a knight. Let's play this. And it's time to build up. Rook D1 coming. The box pieces are so stuck. Okay, I can take the rook. Yeah, I think I just take the rook. And then take here. This might be my first time winning with the alien gambit. Because I tried it once like a while ago. Oh, wait, I, I still have to focus. Uh, check. There, there. This looks pretty good. Check. King C7 is forced. And now check. Now I can take here. Oh, it's too strong. Now I'm up material, and I still have a pretty brutal attack.
Okay, I can't take the knight. But I can take this pawn. When is your next take... OTB tournament? Wait, let's be careful. Tricky move. I really have to focus here. Got a little bit too low on time. I got way too comfortable. Okay, threatening maiden something, maiden three. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's put that on YouTube. Shout out to everyone watching in the future on YouTube. The alien gambit is too strong. I almost blew that, but uh, oh, it's such a fun game. So it started by sacking the knight. I did give away the pawn. Also, I did have a fork here, but this line looked questionable. Maybe it was playable. My bishop is defended. But then this move, sacking the bishop to just open up the other bishop and then just leaving the pawn here. Okay, that was fun. Moving on. So I'm top 40. Playing a fellow I am. I'll stick with a more close Sicilian. Yeah, this will resemble some kind of French type position. I'd love to get in G4 to take. These games are so romantic. I know, I know. Just castle. Maybe. Maybe King F1. I have an idea to get the queen to E1. It's a bit strange, but. The problem with the g4 is take six and then eventually knight h4. Yeah, b4 is coming though. But maybe that's okay. So takes, takes. Yeah, well, let's go for it. Offering the bishop trade. Could play this move. And then g5. Wow, that was a very big transformation of the structure. What just happened there? h4? What is this position? I mean, V for Valentine's Day, right? Upside down V. 
Let's get rid of the knight. Oops. Probably should not have allowed that. The knight is still going to go away. The king will chill on each four. I think the plan is to eventually play g6. Try and win connect six. Discourage the, the trade. This is insane. What a weird position. Just saw you were live. Do we have any more e recaps coming? Yes. Thanks for the great content. Thank you. And this game is great content. Look at my connect six. Uh, how to win this though? Maybe I can just take. I can't take that. I don't know what to do. Target F7. Oh, it's a draw, but no, oh, what to do? Oh, that's so sad. Oh, what a crazy, crazy game. Also, yeah, I should have, I mouse slipped here. I meant to play Rook D6, but um, maybe there's some mating chances if I can keep my queen. I'm not so upset. I was just really, really insane. Okay, we'll keep it going. Play a Stafford. So Stafford declined. I'm trying to play the most aggressive setup possible. I'll probably look to Castle Queenside. Uh, Bishop g5 is maybe coming. Can I sack the queen there? Bishop g5, I take the knight. I have this move. Then g3. Yeah, probably best just to trade. And go for the pawn storm. If f3, I have queen f4. Yeah, we're not even halfway through the tournament, so still a lot of chess to be played. I think the plan is to play 
I love Queen G4 though. Hi, chat less than Hello. Three. I want to play this, but then there's this, but then I take. I think that's okay. Oh, but there's Queen E6 check. Oof. Or maybe I should have started with King B8. Wow, White resigns. I feel like the um, final position, yeah, final position was just equal. <laughs> White's slightly better. Opponent resigned in a, wait, how do I go to next game? Opponent resigned in a, a not losing position. But nice to have a quick win. Okay, we have a Catalan. It's sometimes hard to be aggressive against a Catalan, but this is my go-to opening. Bishop c3. A little bit unusual. I want to play b5, but... Knight e4, take, and then knight e4. What's the line? B5. I don't think I can afford to play B5. Maybe I'll just play Knight D5. Target the bishop. Oh, I could have played B5. I was scared my rook would get trapped, but I have bishop B7. So maybe, okay, maybe now just b5. Hey, thank you, Noodles Beer, gifting five. Also, thank you, Organic Pizza Man. I appreciate it. A4 is a good move. I'm probably just going to be losing a pawn at some point. Um, well, maybe bishop d7 can try and hold on. I am playing in a somewhat greedy manner. e4 kicks a knight, but knight can now find a hopefully happy place on d3. Yeah, cluster of pieces on the queen side. Knight d3. This is what we call an octopus. F2 could be a kind of long-term target. Okay, White's trying to get rid of my octopus. So what if I take... Oh, wait, that doesn't work at all. I thought I have queen c5 in the end, but the knight's defended. But the opponent is confused. <laughs> Maybe I'll just leave the rook pinned. Yeah, this doesn't work at all. Uh, What to do? Rook d8. I got too excited to sacrifice my octopus. It's still playable. Eventually I'll take the rook probably and have a rook and a couple pawns for the two minor pieces. Have each five. Maybe just this first. Completing development. Now h5. Problem is knight f6. And king f8. I'll try it. The rook's attacked. Knight's... Yeah, that could be an issue. 
can eat. I'm basically uncastling. The knight's now just chilling in my crib. My pawn is hanging. Play bishop d4. So if queen takes pawn, I take, take, and then take. And the knight is stuck. Like my house got robbed, but the robber is locked in. But how do I attack it? Maybe I'll just get another octopus. Octopus achieved. What's happening? There goes most of my pieces. There goes White's Rook. There goes all of White's Knights. And it got laggy there with the time scramble. I'll take it. That was a weird game. Thank you, Jtonk. Thank you, Vanderkal. Okay, new opponent. Been playing a lot of E4 today. I've not played the Ponziani yet. I think this is my first game encountering E5. Oh, Black's going to play the romantic opening. Yeah. So Black sacks a piece for some annoying thing. Um, there are a few moves here. I think Rook G1 is one. Yeah, it's super tricky. I don't remember the theory. Play bishop g5. Queen f5, queen d5 maybe. <laughs> I'm up two pieces. Now queen, yeah, there's some queen threats. Uh, bishop e3, take, take. Queen a6 in that line. There's also knight a3 or knight d2, maybe knight d2. So now with queen d3, I have king e1 hitting the queen. Crazy, crazy position. I might also want to take and then take. Oh, but then there's queen takes. Oh, but then bishop e3. Or there's a crazy line. Take, take here. Take here, here, here. I'll have four minor pieces for queen and so many pawns. E4. Hey, it's a sound. Thank you. Thank you, Jivers. I have to focus here. I don't know what's happening. Maybe this move? 
cutting off the defense. Yeah, if you're just joining, we have a really crazy position. Knight still attacked. Queen takes, I play this. My queen getting trapped, rook b8. Oh, that rook to b8. Okay, I think I have to give away the queen. So how much material do I have? I have a rook and three minor pieces for queen and a few pawns. This should be should be preferable for white. I'm not sure though. It might be easier to play for black. There goes another pawn. Opponent didn't want it. Yeah, it's still super tricky. D4 is probably coming. I want to play rook f1. Nah, I plunder the bishop. That's not good. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, I just got mated. Ah, what to do? Good game. Uh, I mishandled that. Black kept the pressure. Now I'm playing Hikaru. Can I play romantic chess against Hikaru? Uh, how how do how do the pieces move again? Yeah, the sign. Trying to be solid. Need to trick him and get him to ask you to resign only for you to win again. Amen. I'm already in trouble. That was a bad move. I'm getting I'm getting stomped on. Like what to do here? My position's crumbling. Let me see four. I have no idea what to do. Try this.
some consolidation. Really? Oh no, my bishop. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, good game. I got crushed. What to do? It's a lesson to be learned, though. I'll have to review all my mistakes from that game. Also, let me close my window. There's some like weird sounds coming out from the window. Like some landscaping or something. Okay, life goes on. Oh, I forgot to turn on the heart rate monitor. Turn on the heart rate monitor. E6. Do this. Did that work? No, connect. There we go, okay. Well, my heart rate is normal right now. Bishop here. Attacking the rook. I might be setting up knight a7. Imagine black will play f6. I didn't really get much of what I wanted here. I don't want to trade queens. Just castle. Rook d8 I can take. Actually, with either rook to d8, I take the pawn and take on e6. So these pawns are defended.
Yeah, I had to give back the pawn there. I'm still up a pawn. Bishop d5. Play g3. Not the best technique. I should be able to win this, though. Okay. Whew. That took work. Took a little bit of work there. This is a Casa Corley variation. I should have played knight h5 first. Oh, what to do? Not thrilled here. Should still be okay. Yeah, e5, knight here, f4, I have knight g3 to f5. In this case, knight g7. Yeah, it looks to be okay.
I probably could have taken the pawn. Probably still can. There, there. I have to be careful. It's tricky. I do a queen e7. White should have taken first. Okay. Okay, got the job done. Wait, does the title not work, or the commands not work? STL. Arena Kings. I might have to change the permissions. Sorry about that. Also, thank you, Hokey Joe. Happy 37. Okay, I should know what I'm doing here. I might be losing a pawn, though. Uh, I'll have to change the command permissions. Sorry about that. Okay, g4. Maybe I could start with h6. Counterattacking the bishop. I mean, I want to play knight f4, so let's do it. Maybe bishop e3 at some point. Maybe g5. Already a pretty exotic pawn structure. I'm trying to attack. I 
Yeah, the bishop is just chilling on e3. If b4, a3, b3, a2, king a1. I might have to like bust things open with c5 at some point. I'll get the pawn all the way. Yeah, trying to prepare a c5. I'm over defending the the b5 pawn. That's a move. Probably should not have allowed that. I wonder if I can play this and if takes I take on e4. I'm probably just worse here though. It's still interesting. I take... Very strange position. I have a battery. Take, take, try it. I mean, White's attack is coming quickly, and it's question what my plan is, like how to get to the king. Maybe rook d8? It's all about initiative. And now queen d5, threatening queen d1 with force mate. As long as I can keep generating threats, it's not easy for white to deal with this. Like maybe rook c1 to try. Uh, oh no, my queen? Oh, that's a move. I'm not winning. I don't think I'm winning. C3 is maybe a... Or queen b2. Oh no, my queen again. White's not taking it. I want to draw. Take... Maybe this. Okay, it's transpired into an endgame. Um, okay, now it looks like this is winning. Okay, this is an interesting game. Akaro on top, 56, 33 points. Try and up the pace. I've gained about 30 rating points this tournament. Yeah, I'm within range of like top 20. Top 15 do get prizes. Um, okay, Cambridge Springs, not happening. So there's a weird idea to bring this knight to f6, leaving this knight on the edge. The point is to play this, this, and then bishop f5. And trade the lights for bishops.
Okay, so now we have a structure with white having the isolated queen's pawn. It's already attacked three times. How to defend b7. If I take, take, take. Rook c7 is probably simpler. It does allow d5. Wow. A counterattack. I think it should be okay. Can take. Yeah, everything's defended. I am threatening mates, but it's not happening. Trying to restrict the, the white knights. Mm. Risky choice. I mean, the idea is to get some mating attack. I think it's working. White has pawns, but I have... Oh, no, it's not working. It's not working. Okay. Oh, uh, what to do? Not meant to be. Still half hour left. Pushed a little bit too hard for the win there. Okay, full tilt opening. But this is a somewhat romantic opening. 
I'd imagine. I have a, um, yeah, th this is actually the Falcon variation, whatever chess.com calls this. Play bishop e3. So I'm down a pawn here. I have the half open G file. I guess the plan is to play H4, Queenside Castle. And black might be Queenside Castling too. Okay, so I'm still down a pawn. I have a little bit more space. I always play king b1 and king b8. I mean, maybe f4 at some point. Knight db5. I love knight c4. My idea is to put the bishop here, maybe queen here. I mean, knight h5 might be coming. Now, my box under a bit of pressure. Oh, I allowed 94. Oops. Oh, uh, that's not good. Maybe threatening to take and then knight d4. Knight is currently pinned. The problem, yeah, the problem is knight d2 is now a threat. So I have rook here. Confusing position. Rook a8 might be very strong. Can I play c4? What is happening? Queen's attacked. Now I can take the rook. Maybe the pawn? D5 is coming. Uh, still probably worse here. I have to go for this.
Ah. I played way too slowly there. Uh, what to do? Okay. It's a lot of chess for, uh, yeah, two hours straight. Twenty four minutes left. I played this line earlier. Yeah, I didn't have like almost the exact same position earlier. H three, H four, ninety two. So this time I'm discouraging that F4. There's some ideas of like knight g5, be right away. Maybe sacking on h3. I think it's a threat. Okay, now probably not. Yeah, these positions can be deceiving because it looks like black should have a strong attack. But in reality, it's not so easy. I'm happy to see f4 though, as e3 is now a target. I'm probably threatening to take now. Take, take. And now it doesn't work. I take here almost. It really feels close to working. Oh, thank you, halfway to Diplodocus. Happy 23 months. And hot elk. Oh, yeah, I recently came back from Bali. Uh, it was very warm there. <laughs> I'm still recovering from jet lag, so I'm doing my best to stay awake. Yeah, last few games, I really haven't been paying too much attention to chats. Sometimes when I'm jet lagged, it's it's hard to spread my focus too thin. Okay, this looks like a nice move. Exploiting the pin and trapping this rook. If I check, there's rook f4. I guess I just take the rook with check. And d4. This should be the nail in the coffin. Okay, next game. Playing Eric Ronka. Shout out to my opponent, also streaming. B4, wing gambit time. B6, wing gambit declined. Okay, we'll leave the pawn tension. Uh, what to do here? I shouldn't take too long. Bishop d3. Looks ugly, but. I mean, queen e2. Okay, black has accepted the gambits. Kind of a delayed accepting.
Do I just go for G4? Yeah, let's go full ham. Yeah, the wing gambit insisted. I'm insisting on more gambits. I want to play rook g1 and attack. So I'm attacking the knight. That's a move. It's a little bit awkward. That could maybe take the pawn, but it's super dangerous. Hmm. Yeah, I want my pieces to migrate to the king side. I'm looking for the tagging ideas. It's not simple, though. Maybe just storming the H-pawn. That's a good move. Uh, what to do? Take... I could move my knight back. Let's try it. This is more prophylaxis, like preventing take and queen d3. And bishop d4 is coming. So it takes I rook d1. A very strange position. That's a move. I'm still trying something here. Ah, as queen takes, or that. Mm. I should probably resign, but you never know. Okay. Good game. Oh, uh, what to do?
I played a little bit too crazy there. Still time for the tournament, though. 14 minutes left. Stavra Gamba time. I think I've scored decently well this tournament with the Stafford. Right I think there's only been two games thus far that have featured the Stafford accepted. This is one of the main main lines, F3, H4. Casting's a move. I think casting is what I taught Nemo way back when at the Stafford Gabbett lesson. There's still some attacking potential with F3. I might just have to retreat. Okay, what to do? C5? I think there's some practical chances. Like bishop e3, take, take. I could play c5 again. There's also knight f5 first. Definitely some pressure building up. Am I threatening to take on G3? Probably not. I'm probably threatening to take on d4 with three attackers and two defenders. If I takes, okay, how to do this? Take. That was a good transformation. Uh, but the game goes on. H5 is tempting. H4 is tempting. Let's do it. Oh no, my rook. As if takes, I take here. And that should be looking good. If white plays this, trying to figure out these lines. I wonder if I can take. Really? I want to play rook g2. Okay, so I'm down a piece for two pawns, but I have a lot of initiative. Bishop c5 first. Okay, another Stafford Gambit success. Um, Check. This is possible. Here we go. That's me, right? Okay. It took the server a moment to realize it was a checkmate. Ha! <laughs> 
how do you know which rook to move when you want to go to a file and both moves look good? Um, it depends on like various factors. Sometimes you have to ask yourself what the ideal position is for both rooks. And then based on that, you can make a better decision. Sometimes it doesn't matter. Like if you're planning to double up very often, the moves can transpose. Okay, slightly unusual opening here. This might be the last game that uh, counts for the tournament. Although maybe there's time for one more game after this. Yeah, there should be time for one more after this. Play d4. I'm trying to open things up. So c6 is attacked, which I think I can take right away. Oh, there's queen e6. I take with knight. Oh no, black can take, take, and take. Someone call an ambulance. But not for me, because if takes, it's checkmate. Uh, that's a cool idea. We might see some rook c8. I have knight b4, and also this move to throw in. Oh no, my rook. It's still hanging. And black still can't take it. Oh, black takes it. Okay. It's me, right? Okay. <laughs> Man, the server is so slow today. It's like, it's like it's running through a very slow algorithm to determine if it's checkmate. Hey, I'm playing Hikaru. Um, oh, this game will count for the tournament. Okay, let's focus. Thank you, cool something, gifting subs. Sakaro fighting for first. Man, this is so laggy. Also, I'm probably losing a pawn here. Ah, uh, what to do? Queen. Queen a5? No. Is this really good for white? I think I'm just losing a pawn. Five doesn't work. Hmm. Okay, it's off the clerk bishops. White has double pawns. The problem is my time situation. White no longer has double pawns. Positional sacrifice. F five. It's not looking great.
I'm just getting ground down. The car was too strong. How do I how do I trick him? Where's my stalemate trick? No, okay. <laughs> Where's the resign button? Where's the resign button? Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, I found it. Okay. <laughs> that was rough. He really just ground me down. Wait, no more games will count for the tournament. Be sure to refresh to get rid of the lag. Will that work? It's like... It lags any time I switch tabs. It started happening yesterday during Title Tuesday. But maybe I can troubleshoot. Refresh. Will this work? Oh, now it's now it's working fine. That's weird. Thanks for the tip. Refreshing. I wonder what that did. Yeah, this game's not going to count. Uh, might as well get a Rosen Trophy for both uh, the Pawn Diamond. Um, I'm losing a 7. I need tricks. Have this move. Oops. No draw. <laughs> if I take a draw, I lose rating points. So it's best to have the server abort the game. Hey, I want a rook. Okay. <laughs> what to do? Thank you, last day to fly with a prime sub. So refreshing clears a cache. So does that mean like the cache builds up over the course of the tab opened? And that's what slows it down. It's still like a little bit of lag. Anyway, congrats to Hikaru, who beat me twice this tournament. I feel like both games I didn't really have a chance. I have to try and learn from my mistakes. Thank you, Mickelger. Happy 30 months. So anyway, um, thanks everyone for tuning in. I had a lot of like interesting games this this tournament. <laughs> Maybe not the highest quality chess. I gained about what ten to fifteen rating points. Um, I think I'll wrap things up. But yeah, it's time to find some fresh air and some food. <laughs>